Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, Microsoft have started rolling out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25201 for this week. Um, and that's to the Dev Channel Insiders, which they made available starting on the 14th of September. Now, um, there's a couple of new features in Build 25201. One or two are offic official new features and one or two are unofficial. And those unofficial so-called hidden features um, Microsoft could be testing internally and um, basically that means that they are currently hidden and um, Microsoft could start testing them officially in up and coming preview builds for the Dev Channel Insiders. Now um, just to take a look at one or two of those new features, official and unofficial, um, as these could be features that could possibly roll out in up and coming um, uh, builds of the Windows 11 operating system so just to keep you updated if you are interested and the first um, is a new uh, expanded view in widgets now about five months ago I actually posted a video um, to something very similar um, to this expanded view of the widgets where um, I mentioned um, in the video I posted um, a couple of months ago that Windows 11 could be getting a full screen mode for widgets and um, this was at Microsoft's hybrid work event earlier this year where support for the widgets panel with a full screen had been spotted that increases um, your access to more widgets. Now I'll leave a link in the description to that video but this seems to be a very similar concept now that Microsoft has finally started to test officially now in the dev channel. Now um, they say they are trying out some changes, as we can see, that will allow you to expand the size of your widgets board. And um, there's a little expand and collapse button in the top right corner. So if I just zoom in here a little bit, um, yeah, we can see that little button. I mean, the top right corner of the board next to the add widgets. So that's where you add a widget and you can then expand and collapse the size of your widgets board. And if you just head to the next screenshot, which um, is a little bit small but this is the button if i just zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better in the video that's um the button that shows at the top right to expand the widgets board so that's where you add a widget and that's where you can expand and collapse the widget and that's obviously your user profile and just heading back to that first screenshot um microsoft says that the size of your board is remembered so um, if you prefer your widgets board to always show you more content, like we can see in this screenshot, um, and leave it expanded, then that's how it will be the next time you open it. So that's a little bit of improvement that could be rolling out. And um, the experience, they say, isn't available to all insiders yet. And once they get more feedback, they will push that out to everyone. And then heading to the third screenshot, there um, are improvements to the Game Pass widget. And they begin to roll out an update for the Game Pass widget that um, introduces the ability to sign in with your Xbox profile. And if you have already uh, signed in into your Xbox app on PC, and Microsoft mentions the Game Pass widget will be signed in with your Xbox account. And once signed in, the widget will show you the full range of Game Pass games available to you. And um, just as a, sub, a, a side note, they say over and above that the widget will also show the most recent set of uh, PC Game Pass titles you have played. And this will just this screenshot just gives us a bit of a more in-depth look at that. And once again, um, it isn't available to all insiders yet. And uh, when they do get more feedback, um, they will push that out to everyone. Now, those are the officially um, new recognized uh, features. And then if we just head over to the next screenshot um, and that's with build 25201 um, these are the, the, the first of two so-called this is the first of two so-called hidden features that as I mentioned Microsoft could be testing internally which could be tested officially in up-and-coming builds and that's a redesigned as we can see rename this PC UR and user interface which is updated now from the old legacy uh, rename this rename your PC UR that is found currently in Windows with a more modern interface as we can see in the screenshot. And then if we head to the fourth and final screenshot, um, also in bold 25201, another hidden feature is a redesigned date and time picker where you can change the date and time. And this has also been updated with a more um, modern user interface from the old legacy UI as mentioned. So that's it, a couple of officially recognized um, features in the release notes and then those last two 
um, are so-called hidden features that have been spotted by a Windows enthusiast. And if we just head to the release notes for build 25201, just to mention one final new improvement regarding the file explorer, if you're just using the release notes, um, the file explorer search will now show results as you type and um, the full search results page will update live without needing to press enter. And then um, if you are interested, I will leave um, these release notes, a link to them in the description as you can just read up all about the other fixes that have rolled out in build 25201 if that would be of interest. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.